Don't you hate when people talk behind your back? I do. So here's a guide to how to deal with people who like talking behind your back and stuff. Step one. One. Someone is talking about you at that moment, you get close to them as possible, and then and then you you put your ear up to their conversation and you you do it real slick though, like they look over you back off like you weren't doing anything you know step two you get their class schedule you get their bus schedule you get their home address you get their phone number maybe you can get their social security <laughs> not everyone's skilled as i am step three you take that information and you use it to your advantage you follow them everywhere Step four. Oh, <laughs> four. You get that social security number and then you take their ID and you live their life and you start rumors about them. Five. You fake their death, of course. I mean, really the logical thing to do. Duh. Then when the cops find out they're not dead, guess who's going to jail? Hopefully not you, because if you're really that good, you wouldn't get caught. For identity theft. Mm. Okay, but seriously, we all deal with our share of rumors being spread about us every now and then, right? It's the way that we truly deal with those rumors that shows our character, you know? We do all get affected by the things people say about us, rather it's true or not, or it's something that we just don't want the world to know. And if it is something that isn't true, the people that are believing it, it, it comes into question, it doesn't matter. Are they important? Are those people my friends? Do I really consider them friends? They could have just came to me and asked me the truth. Rumors and things of that nature can be things that like punch you in the gut from time to time. Your emotional gut, that is. <laughs> <laughs> that was not funny. And it does damage your self-esteem and it makes you want to like hide in a corner, you know? The bright side of everything is that someone actually thinks you're that important that you need to be talked about. They're losers. It's life. People are going to talk. Going to the extremes like fighting and stuff like that, uh, you know, hurting yourself. It's really not helping anything, you know? People are going to talk your entire life. It's, most of the time you won't even know they're talking about you. Yeah, you're gonna overreact right now, but like in the long run, if you're the bigger person, trust me, you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, you were the little kid, I was the big kid, guess who gets the bigger toys? Let them talk. I'm the main topic apparently, haha, <laughs> congratulations to me. Everything will blow over. It's gonna be gone and you're gonna be like, woohoo, and you're gonna be like, I got through that. Good thing I didn't do anything too crazy. You know, unless your rumor was like on CNN or something, and it doesn't blow over. This is not a CNN sponsored video, only if CNN sponsored me. In the end, if the people you truly care about are surrounding you, your family, your friends, the yada yada yada, they know not to believe rumors, if, or they already know the stuff that you didn't want to get around, and of course they were not the ones to spread it. If they were, shame on you people I trusted cuz I'm gonna get you as long as the people who love you surround you and still believe in the person that you are not the person that they heard you are then you really shouldn't care about the opinions of others and I know it's a hard thing to accept but it's something that we all have to accept if we really don't want the words of others to hurt us okay people this was like my this was like my third video and like I need to do that once a week thing like other youtubers you should subscribe if you wanna. Kinda sorta like the video, you should kinda like the video with the thumbs up thingy thing. Please subscribe, cause I can only get better from here. Hopefully.